Hey everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you want more updates on the world of football. Vinicius' time at Real Madrid has been marred by constant discriminatory abuse from rival fans in La Liga. After the incident, Vinicius informed the match officials that he had received prejudiced abuse from a fan behind one of the goals. The match was halted for 10 minutes in the second half as Vinicius pointed out fans to the referee who he said had engaged in discriminatory behavior. The Brazilian could even threaten to leave the Santiago Bernabeu if the mistreatment continues. Real Madrid president Florentino Perez met with Vinicius Jr. to show his support for the player after he suffered acts of discrimination. The meeting took place on Monday, May 22, 2023, at the Valdebebas training complex. The purpose of the meeting was to show support for Vinicius and explain defense strategies. The meeting was held in the wake of Sunday's incidents at Valencia where Vinicius was subjected to discriminatory behavior by Valencia fans. Brazil's president Luis Inácio Lula da Silva has joined soccer clubs and players in coming out to support star striker Vinicius Jr. after he once more faced prejudiced abuse in a Spanish league match on Sunday. Lula condemned the discriminatory abuse of Real Madrid star Vinicius Jr. after his fellow Brazilian was subjected to discriminatory behavior by Valencia fans during a 1-0 loss to Valencia in La Liga. FIFA president Johnny Infantino also expressed his views on the incident and reiterated that soccer must take a zero-tolerance approach to discriminatory behavior. No estádio do Valencia, ele foi fortemente atacado, sendo chamado de macaco. Ou seja, não é possível que no quase no meio do século 21 a gente tenha o preconceito racial ganhando força em vários estados de futebol aqui na Europa.